Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Now, you know we work and shout out to the Super Chats the donations and the patreon patrons now i gotta give you guys some insight on what's going on because some people have seen videos and or pictures floating around and they're not sure what's going on so leave it to ego to kind of break it down a little bit for you guys so shout out to my dude jamel herring he will be fighting he has an upcoming fight i think he was supposed to be on broner garcia but i think his date got switched anyway he sparred with shakur stevenson and also terence crawford so some people were scratching their head when they seen pictures of Adrian. Ah, man, you know about Bacon, Broner, and Terrence Crawford. They're like, what? What did this come about? So this is the deal. Crawford has an upcoming fight in August versus Julius Ndongo to become undisputed. Winner of that fight will be undisputed at 140. Boom. And then Broner obviously has his upcoming fight. Shakur, I don't think he has a fight on the books. And then Jamel Herring, as I mentioned, he has an upcoming fight. So both of, basically all the guys are just working. And Terrence Crawford has been going to Colorado for a while from Nebraska. So he, he trains in Colorado often. He trained in Colorado for his Felix Diaz fight. Broner sometimes uses Colorado too. Broner's main home bases for his training were, are either A at home, like somewhere in Cincinnati, B in DC, or C in Colorado. And Broner says he's going back to the can man and he wants to just kind of take it back to the roots And that's why he's going back to Colorado because he says even his Madonna fight He trained it out in Colorado and it was just good work the altitude different things like that and You got to give it up because even though the some people see this is what happens in boxing some people only look at the downside they only look at the bad side they just look at Broner getting knocked down twice but to me Broner, he showed a lot of heart in that Chino fight. You know what I'm saying? Chino, you you look at it. Known warriors like Jesus Soto Carras. I never heard no one say, oh, this dude is not a warrior. Or Josecito Lopez. These are the guys that are perceived as the warriors in the sport. And just before Maidana fought Broner, he had knocked them dudes out. You know what I mean? Broner, meanwhile, start, he was at 135, skipped 140 altogether. So he jumped a total of two weight classes to fight Chino in his second fight. And his first fight was a tough one versus Pauli Malinaji, but the punching power for Malinaji versus Maidana, those are two different worlds. You know what I mean? Pauli's not considered a big puncher, especially at 47. And Maidana is, at that time, he's probably one of the top three punchers at 147. So to me, it shows me something. I look deeper than just the surface. Oh, Broner got knocked down, he was hurt. I mean, truth be told, that's what's supposed to happen. Madonna has a good ass resume. Eric Morales, Amir Khan, he had, like I said, Jose Cito Lopez, Jesus Soto Caras, and a ton of other people. Devin Alexander, win, lose, or draw, he has stepped in with all these people. Prime Victor Ortiz. So to me, that showed me something about Broner. A lot of people, like I said, they don't like Broner, don't like his antics, so they just focus only on the the part, the negatives, I guess you could say. But I like this man. I like to see. Couple young brothers work together, help each other at their craft, kind of meet in the middle. Colorado, neither none of them are from Colorado, but it's a it's a good place to train. I believe they have the Olympic Training Center there too. So Shakur Stevenson is probably really familiar with that area as well. And I like to see this. I like to see these dudes getting that work at pause. Because this they all have upcoming fights for the most part. I mean, even Shakur Stevenson, he might have a fight and I just don't know about it because it hasn't been televised. But top rank's been booming, you know what I mean? Uh, Crawford's fighting and so is Vasil Lomachenko on ESPN so they might try to get the Mick Connellans and the Shakur Stevenson on the undercard and it's not like Shakur Stevenson has taken a lot of punishment in his first two fights so I mean it'd be a right decision to me to keep him active but I just want to give you guys some insight why they're together a lot of people were tagging me like oh someone hit me in the DM do you see this why is Terrence Crawford and Broner together so, to my knowledge, they didn't spar Broner and Terrence Crawford. I would pay to see that, but they didn't spar. And it's just just camaraderie, you know what I mean? All athletes working together, trying to iron sharpens iron. So that's that's the backstory, if you will. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comments section. 
Who wins Broner Garcia, Crawford versus Ndongo? Shout out to my dude Jamel Herring. Everybody working. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off. So, if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.